And tonight what we're going to do is we're going to look at question number two. So up on the board you see question number two, which is uh, we're talking about PVC expansion joints. And in this case here, PVC expansion joints, we're going to read through the question and we're going to talk about a little bit about PVC expansion joints. Now, uh, PVC expansion joints are mainly used in the drainage, waste, and venting system of the uh, plumbing system. And they're, they're used on the vent, they're used on the waste, and they actually prevent expansion and contraction of the piping. And in, in, in any building, whether it's a residential building and some commercial buildings across the country, we, we have PVC expansion joints to help us take up what happens when, we, when hot water is poured down a drainage system. Last week, if you were with us last week, we talked about um, hot water. And one of the things they, I used as a reference was when you dump hot water into your drainage system, so when you, after, you've cooked, after you've cooked spaghetti um, and you put them in the calder and you dump it down there, a lot of expansion of the piping, whether it's cast iron, whether it's copper, or whether it's PVC, a lot of expansion and contraction goes on. And in that expansion and contraction and in that movement, copper and PVC move the most. Sometimes you'll hear creaking of your pipes. A lot of, a lot of times you hear that when the heat is turned on. Um, uh, but in the case of the drainage system, in the case of when you're running hot, hot water, you'll also hear that expansion and contraction. So in the case of PVC expansion joints, and what we have here is a question, is just one point of a, of a lot of code issues regarding expansion and where the use of expansion joints and the mathematics and formulas surrounding um, expansion and contraction of piping material in the drainage system or in general, how, that, how you compensate for that and what you do to try and avoid that. And a lot of those questions for any of you plumbers, apprentice plumbers, journeyman plumbers, uh, a lot of those questions show up on exams. So let's go with the question right now. So we all, again, we always start out with a fact. And in this case, the fact is, um, we're gonna have a plumbing pass and recognition fact. There are numerous types of fittings, tubing, devices and accessories that are used in a rough and finished plumbing system. All fittings, tubing, devices and accessories are required to meet applicable performance standards in compliance with national standards, particularly ANSI, ASME, ASSE, and ASTM. All of those and a lot of those points and a lot of those standards, whether it's the American um, um, uh, Society of Mechanical Engineers, they all, they, all those references and abbreviations could be used on an exam. You may get a question, which of the following is the definition of ANSI and all that kind of stuff. So later on, later on and even on some of our testing that we do on the plumbingacademy.com's website, we talk about those type of questions. So including many other model and custom code accepted testing organizations. So a lot of states, different states like the state of Massachusetts has different types of approvals, different type of testing methods for materials that you use in the plumbing system and even in the case of gas fitting systems that require you to talk to the inspector, maybe go to the, the state authority having jurisdiction to iron all that stuff out, make sure you're not doing anything that's not compliant with the code. So in this case, that would be the fact that the given part is the fitting shown in the image provided is a style of PVC expansion joint. So down in the corner and on our any of our tests, we try to show an image, some type of image that's in reference to the question being asked to give you an idea of what we're looking for, kind of stimulate your, your mind in thinking about plumbing and fittings. And this is just one of a, of a series of manufacturers that manufacture expansion joints um, so a lot of them have a slightly different design, but what they do is they ride upon O-rings or some type of seal inside so that the pipe expands and contracts. 
So the question today is, and it's exclusive to Massachusetts as well as a bunch of surrounding uh, states within the country, and the question is, what answer below shall be considered most correct to complete the following parts and fitting related statement? PVC expansion joints are required on a three inch PVC stack at blank. So in this case here, and this is where it gets complicated in some of you apprentices and some of you journeyman plumbers and those of you who are just looking for general knowledge, when we, we use the reference stack, S-T-A-C-K, it means the vertical stack. We're talking about the vertical stack in the drainage system and in this case, let's talk about um, the soil stack. Uh, and one of the things about a soil stack and one of the things that's very important when you're studying for an exam or you're even taking an exam or you're trying to understand some of the pieces related to any of the plumbing codes and even gas fitting codes is the definitions of some of these words that are used, the vocabulary and the language that's used in the plumbing code or the gas fitting code. In this case, when we talk about stack, we're talking about the vertical portion of piping. In, the, in this case, we'll talk about the drainage system, but you can also have in the venting system. The venting system, you can have a vent stack. Again, there's a definition of a vent stack. A soil stack, there's a whole definition regarding soil stack. And we're talking here exclusively about the use of an expansion joint in a, in, in a stack. There are also the use of expansion joints, in some cases, horizontally, and horizontal piping runs. And as, you, as, you, as we go more and more into these questions and we go through each week answering these questions, you'll also find that in our online classes, if you want to know more about that stuff, sign up for our classes and we can go over any of those things with you. Sometimes we even customize classes to your needs if you've had weaknesses, and you're having problems passing an exam for those of you who are in the plumbing trades. Um, we'll work with you, try to work through you, identify some of those things that you're having difficulties with that are challenges and turn those challenges into opportunities so you can be successful at what you do. So one last look at the question. PVC expansion joints are required on three inch PVC stacks at so we look at question, we look at answers A, and we're going to try to eliminate, we should try to eliminate and use by the process of elimination what these answers again apply to and how we can associate them with other parts of the code, or are some of these answers strictly distractors to make you think about something that's not relevant to the proper, most correct answer to the question? So in part A, we're going to look at intervals of every eight feet. Now, even though PVC is, expands three-eighths of an inch in every 10 feet with a 100-degree temperature change, that's a huge expansion rate. Even though that is a great expansion rate, when I look at eight feet and I think of the code book and I think of all that great reading I've done over the years since I was 12, and stuff you should be doing, reading the code every day for those of you who are taking tests or studying in schools. I look at that and go, you know what? There's nothing in the code book that I can ever recall that dealt with eight feet in PVC expansion joints. Nothing at all. So just by the process of elimination, I'm going, that's not the answer. But then I get to intervals of 10 feet. And I look at intervals of 10 feet, I go, is that the answer? Now, intervals of 10 feet can mean, could mean horizontally, could mean vertically, or in a stack piece, stack being vertical. But you know what's wrong with that answer? That answer is too vague. It's too general. It doesn't feel right. And as you study more and more, and as you pay attention to some of the language of the code, you'll get into a comfort level and understand that with, applied to the question, that just doesn't have a good feel, and it's too general an answer. It's not getting to the root of what we are looking for. Therefore, you can pretty much be comfortable knowing that you can, can eliminate that. So then we get at every story height, and then we get to every other branch interval. 
So the two things going on here are these, in most questions, when you're taking a test, there'll be the distractor, and then they'll, but there'll always also be two answers that are fairly close. And this is where we're, they're, they're testing how well the knowledge that you have learned in school or through your reading on a code book, how well has it transferred to you? How, how well has your coach, mentor, or teacher uh, uh, applied that information to you in an in a instructive uh, classroom setting? And does it stick? So one of the things we look at every story height, that, you know what, that's getting close to, to where you would need an expansion joint. And when we talk about every story height, the, whether it's question C or it's question D, this is now where we get into understanding definitions in the plumbing code. And what is actually the definition of a story height? And in the case of question answer D, what is the definition of a branch interval? Those are vitally important to your knowledge as a plumber and your knowledge of where you need to install an expansion joint in the case of a stack or in a vertical portion of pipe that we're calling a stack. So in this case here right now, I'm going to tell you, even though there's a great definition of a story height, again, it's close. It's a little better than the answer B, intervals of every 10 feet, but it's still not quite the answer because we're looking for something that defines better where the placement of a PVC expansion joint needs to occur because we're looking at what's happening within a branch interval. So when we, we're going to immediately eliminate C and go that D is the answer, and the reason D is the answer is because there are a lot of things going on in a branch interval. And when you look at the definition of a branch interval and you have horizontal drains that are coming into a branch interval and how that's explained in the code, that's where you, when you're taking a test or when you're trying to understand the code or when you're trying to answer this question, every other branch interval is the most proper answer. And why is that? Because it's basically, it's giving you a distance, branch interval, every other branch interval between, anywhere between 12 to 20 feet. So 20, 12 to 20 feet vertically, somewhere in there with, with all kinds of other branches entering the drainage or entering that stack, whether it's a soil stack or a waste stack. Again, more, more information, more definitions, different, different types of ways you'd be asked questions with a, a soil stack or a waste stack and the importance of understanding that. So a branch interval and what's going on in there and your understanding of a branch interval is vitally important. So that's kind of a, uh, as quick an explanation as I can give you today. And some of these will be longer than others as we go over the next 30 weeks and the questions we have on the sample tests. And the sample tests, we're going to be adding more questions to those. So uh, again, we hope that you join and take some of our practice tests and join some of our online classes. But basically, all we want you to remember is to visit us at theplumbingacademy.com at www.theplumbingacademy.com. Please like us on Facebook. Share us on Facebook with your friends every chance you get. And I will see you next week with Eric here behind the scenes. And we'll talk to you about uh, question three in our plumbing sample exam. Thank you for liking us. Thank you for all of you for watching. And we'll see you next week.